I was told there was a dinosaur sentai. Hello. What is up, guys? Welcome to the review of episode one, Kishiryu Sentai Ryu Sojer. Oh, it's Wednesday, right? This might be the latest I've ever done an episode one review of a Sentai or Common Rider before, but this is what this is what's happening. Life's been crazy with Beast Morphers right now, and I, so I watched the first episode twice before I talked to you about it because the first time. I was not, I should not have watched it then, and with the masters and stuff, and the, and the comedy girl, I just, I wanted to turn it off. That was my initial impression of it. I was just like, I can't deal with this right now, but I, of course, I've watched it again, and my feelings have changed a little bit about some things, and, and gotten worse about some others, so there's definitely good, there's so much good about this, but there's also some things that I just wanted to pull my hair out about, but overall, I really did like it. I think this was not, uh... I don't want to say this wasn't a good startup into it, but just from what we normally get from Sentai Episodes 1, this one was heavy. I didn't feel, like, I felt like it was in Episode 1, but it's still so new-ish. I, I don't know, I feel like this was almost could have been in, uh, like, an Episode 0 or something, but the pacing, just real quick... It was so fast. There's so many things that happened in this episode. I... I watched it once, and going through it again, I was like, I forgot that that was the order it happened. It was just boom, boom, boom. There was no time to breathe, really, and and I guess it's fine. I mean, it's episode one. It's got to have a lot of information in it. It's got to set the stage. It's got to let you guys know if you're going to like it or not, but there's just some stuff that went so fast. I was like, I can't let it breathe. Let the story breathe just, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, and let me give you my, uh, this, this was me. As I'm watching the show, I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh, and then they're fighting the, the, the monster, and then the breath, and the mas masters, and the... Oh! It's episode one! Usually that many people are not offed in episode one, and while I am behind on Geo, I heard what happened in that episode that happened before it, and I'm like... I am so glad I did not watch them live or be super sad because it is, is not a good time for your heartstrings as a Sentai and Rider fan right now. Uh, so let's just get into just my first woohoo thoughts of whatever. I love the fact that they started with the older Reasogers and they passed it down to the youngins. Later on, you know, you hear this thing like, do you think they're ready? And they're like, well, you know, skill wise, I don't know, but their, their hearts are there. And it meant a lot having rangers, you know, sometimes the ranger just gets thrown in and, you know, I like rangers of all backgrounds. I don't care if you've been training your whole life or I don't care if you stumbled into it and had the morpher slapped on your wrist and you're like, what's going on? I'm a ranger now. But these guys um, have been training apparently their whole life or at least a very, very long time. And when their masters, it, there's a, a gravity to it, you know, and the masters say, hey, I have faith in these guys. They have the heart, they have the drive, they have whatever. So that to me automatically goes, okay, these rangers, it, it gives you, yeah, that gravity, it gives you that feel toward them, it gives you that confidence going into it, which which is always a just a fun theme to have, knowing right off the bat that these are strong rangers, these rangers know what they're doing, and they're going to be fighting for a big cause. Now, not just to protect their temple and everything that they were doing, but then the, the temple was gone, now they don't need the temple, because guess what, the temple was the mecca? Whoo! Sentai and Rider reviews don't go exactly like uh, Power Ranger episodes reviews. I really just, especially with Sentai and Rider, I just kind of talk about the parts that I like, to talk about my feelings overall of the episode, and then just let you guys um, kind of go from there, and if it's something you're interested in. And shout out, hey, if any of you guys are just here on the Power Ranger side, have never watched anything, you know, with Sentai or anything like that before, hi, thanks, and welcome for giving this a shot. Uh, Sentai is a really awesome way you can get even more, you know, Power Rangers fun. For me, it's spandex suits fighting rubber-suited monsters where good versus evil were good wins. That's, that's really all it is to me. It's why I love Toku. It's why I love Power Rangers. So I hope you like it. And for you guys who are, you know, Sentai fans for a really long time, too, what did you guys think of the first episode? I'll have a link. Uh, Overtime has subbed it. I, maybe some other places do. I just personally, Overtime is my suburb of choice. So I kind of, you know, I just go by them. Over-ti.me. You know what? I'm going to have a link to it below. But that's where you can get the episode. I, okay, good, good things, right? The gravity of the rangers. I love the fact that they already are 
goal setted. They're focused. I'm sure they're going to have sillies, you know, too. But it was very serious, and I really enjoyed that. Well, before stuff that happened to the Master Rangers, the fact that there were two of each color Rangers. What? No keys, no special uh, ability, you know, where it duplicates you. There's just two of them. And that's so cool. And it looks, you know, like they were... They're powerful, but they are weaker in their two forms. But after the master and the key and the, not the key, the Ryu soul, it looks like a key. It's it's a key. It's just it's a dragon soul or Ryu soul. It's a soul, soul, souls. I need souls to the one person who might actually get that. Uh, we had a really amazing fight with just all of the rangers, both forms of them, until the monsters got inside the temple and they all demorphed, and that is where all of the crap hit the fan. And by crap hitting the fan, I mean people were disintegrated. You know, in Sentai and Power Rangers and Ryder, somebody, you know... <sighs> Okay, that doesn't really mean they're dead, though, right? I mean, I mean, you see characters collapse all the time at the end of a fight, and, you know, they close their eyes, and then, okay, they'll be there later. These guys are pretty dead. Uh, dead dead. I mean, maybe they'll come back as ghosts or spirits or something, but there was no bodies left for blue and pink to attempt. There, there was no bodies. They, they were disintegrated. Disintegrated. And incinerated, I guess, is a fire breath. But that, that was 14 minutes into the episode. Each episodes are, you know, 22 and a half, 23 minutes or so. 14 minutes into the episode, I have already been ticked off, excited, and heartbroken. This show is going to have some serious mental consequences for me. Oh my gosh, so they set up, you know, the feeling of, okay, they pass on the powers and I'm excited and they're fighting and then the heartbrokenness of what happens to the masters as they, you know, as a master would do. Sensei, they, they protected their students and what a noble sacrifice, you know, that they're going to be able to live on and keep carrying on the Ryu soldiers and fighting the good fight. But I got to talk about the comic relief chick. It was Ui's channel. Is her name Ui? I don't remember what it was. I can't stand her. Absolutely. From the first second I saw her face, I can't stand her. I really hope, I, I really hoped that the second time I watched it, it wouldn't be as bad. Because sometimes, you know, if you're not in the right mood set, comedy relief just irks you, you know, the wrong way. And you don't really want to deal with it. And you're like, well, let me rewatch it. I'm sure it won't be that bad. It was worse. I... I hope by the end of the show, I love her. I hope by the end of the show, uh, she's one of my favorite characters. I don't want to go into a show hating one of the characters, right? I mean, unless it's like a villain and you're supposed to dislike him, but I don't want to go into a show after one episode going, I cannot stand them, but I cannot stand her. <laughs> For you guys that liked her, I'm sure you have a bajillion. Maybe that comedy is your style. But not only was just the falling, it was the over-the-top falling. It was just all the facial expressions. And I I don't know why. Just something about her. I We've seen comic tropes. We've seen sticks like that. And how many other Power Rangers, Super Sentai, and Kamen Rider. This, this silly side character. And usually I just say, okay, whatever. Guys, you want to know what really grinds my gears? Her. I couldn't stand her. I was just like, I would fast forward through all of this. I don't know, man. Maybe I gotta watch after a few drinks so I'm a bit more calm and chill or something. And, and maybe I'll like her then. And this is maybe, maybe, maybe me as a YouTube. Oh, God, I call myself a YouTuber. Anyway, I put videos on YouTube. She's lying to her audience. Now, perhaps the whole, her whole thing is, is the, the jokes, you know, ha ha, you eat jokes not funny, but no son jokes, old man no son jokes from Kira Oger. I love those. Her jokes? No. It fell flat. Flatter than whenever her butt hit the floor. <laughs> okay, okay. I feel better. I feel better. Let's, uh, oh, when the senseis, I had a note, actually I just jotted down a few things during the episode, but one of them, and I want to know your guys' thoughts on this, when, uh, Master Red, I can't remember his name, um, when he, you know, that sensei, no music, 
right? If you, have, if you didn't pay attention to it the first time you watched it, please go do it. They cut. There was no music, no sound effects. It was just him yelling from his soul in this cavern. Oh my gosh, that was the part. Like, that alone got me. And then whenever, you know, pink and blue, of course, it was absolutely horrible. So at this point, I'm already just like, what is going on with this show? But after all of it, um, they destroy the whole temple, starts coming down, and we find out that Kishirio Three Nights was in the temple. And Red absolutely goes Super Saiyan on them. Just... And I swear he screamed his power into existence. The mecha, I love it. I love it, I love it. That thing is agile, it's fast, it looks like it's, yes, it's going to be able to do amazing things like knights, like with the sword fighting. Um, suits, weapons, mecha, collectible, everything. I'm totally on board. I love everything about it. I just hope the story uh, stays up. I hope the story is something that I really enjoy. But everything else, I mean, just opposed to like the plot, I really, really loved. And aside from that side character that drove me absolutely crazy because she was lying to her YouTubers about where she was. Again, you don't, I try to be very honest with you people, unless it's like a secret I can't tell you about yet, but it just, come on, I'm in my basement. These are my toys. I'm not gonna pretend to be somewhere else I'm not. Unless I'm in front of a green screen and then I'm in Angel Grove. Ugh, but other than her, I really, really enjoyed the episode, and I want to know, what do you guys think you've given it? Uh, hopefully at this point, you've seen it. If you haven't already, go to uh, check out Overtime or TV Nihon. They should be able to get you hooked up if you want to watch it. Let me know, and uh, I can try to help you out in any way, but I did really enjoy it. I give it a solid rating of, I don't even know what a solid rating is, 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10 or so? Maybe seven with that side character. God, I don't want to hate her. I don't, but all right, I gotta I got get off of this because you know what's going to happen next, guys? Other than the fact that I'm going to keep doing this with my hair is that I'm going to go to Walmart and pick up my Beast. I was going to say my Common Rider Morpher, my Power Rangers Beast X Morpher. So I get filming that Wednesday night and then get that to you guys Thursday. Of course, you Toku fans, I'll see you Friday at the Toku Weekend Review, like always, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We always talk about a bunch of Toku news. And of course, with the brand new show... We're gonna have stuff to talk about. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. Thanks so much for the Patreons. Thank you for your subscriptions and your bell notifications and your likes and comments and all that stuff. It means the world to me. I love you all. I'll see you at the next video. Bye! Videos! Subscribe! I don't know what side I'm gonna put it on. Videos! Subscribe! Okay. Bye.